This video contains strong language which some viewers may find offensive. So if you're a Sally sensitive, you might want to fuck right off. Hey, now we're the main. What we have today is a nice, simple little project using the third arm for the guillotine tool we made the last day. It's, uh, what is it? It's a lot of things. At the moment, it's just a drawing. But hopefully it'll be a stair spindle or a decorative element for a gate. I'm probably going to use it as a decorative element for a gate if it turns out all right. If it doesn't, it'll be a stair spindle. It'll, it'll go with my collection of fucking stair spindles that I do nothing with anyway. But uh, it's basically just 16 mil square and we're going to neck down this part to about 12 mil round, maybe 10, I don't know. I don't want to make it too weak. And then we're going to use the guillotine tool to butcher in everything. And uh, we're going to use Frank to set these little peaks and basically a, a nice simple little project for a Saturday. So uh, yeah, follow along. You might learn something, you might not. You might be entertained, you might not. Do I care? Not a bit. Go on boys, we'll bring you back when she's hot. We'll talk to you in a bit. Right, what we have here is our 60 mil square, 5 eighths, and there's 70 mil between the two white lines. Obviously the first, the middle white line is the center line. Actually, I'm gonna erase that. And, uh, now, confusion erased. Uh, 70 mil between those two white lines, which is about two and insert number of inches. And we're just gonna set it down so we can find it easier on the butcher tool. And this is going to be the round part of our element. So yeah, let's get a mark done. She'll be able to find them quite easy with the guillotine tool. It's about nine and a half. I think we live with that. some neatening up here on the forward uh, on the anvil with the hammer. If you get too close to that you'll dick your edges so 
just easier to do it in the ample. So yeah, just gonna true all this up, take all the hammer marks out on the anvil and uh, start butchering in the top pieces. more material than I was looking for, but fuck it, we'll run with it, see what it looks like, make, make adjustments for the next one. Alright boys, I'll bring you back when it's butcher time. Don't fall, you cunt. Two mil. Last one, hopefully. Up this side.
Hard and deep works in many circumstances. Using a guillotine tool, not so much. Just crisping up all the corners and facets. Well, how the main? So this is where we're at now. We have our are basically our, our spindle forged out. Turned out alright. A little bit long in the middle. But it'll work. I hope. So what we've left to do now is the two pieces that flank either side of it. And I've worked out we need about 10 and a half inches. Uh, 262 and a half mil give or take. A blonde one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one of these finials in the middle of each of these pieces. I was originally just going to have like a slope, but I figured at least this way it'll tie into the spindle. So we're gonna put one in the middle of each of these and then taper out a nice graceful taper. Uh, 240 mil, which is nine and a half inches, give or take. And hopefully that will give us enough steel to produce this white line thing which will give us enough mass to forge weld on without encroaching too close on this because you want to leave a bit of space here otherwise it looks very cluttered so yeah we we'll get all this set up and I'll bring you back when she's hot boys good luck uh, off camera there I just butchered in two more of our little motif things you didn't need to see that it's the same as this one and this one so I'm gonna bring you over to Frank we're going to draw these out to about nine and a half inches. See how much material we've left there. All right, boys, I'll bring you back when she's hot. <laughs> 